Hey, I'm Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to be going over the functionalities using the Diesel Laptops Off-Highway Kit powered by Texa. Once you've opened the laptop, you're going to have the Diesel Laptops Desktop Launcher. So this is going to house your diagnostics, your service information, any other programs we have, and give you the ability there to chat directly with our technical support department through two options, the chat session or create a ticket for them to call you. Once you've opened the software, it's just going to be broken down by your different categories here. So ag, construction, forklift, and then industrial engines. You've also got this nice little tab here on the left. Brings you right back to that desktop launcher so you can quickly get into that service information. So if you choose our category here of agricultural vehicles, you can see all the major brands covered here. You see things like Case. Um, you're going to see New Holland, John Deere, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, all the way down here to the bottom here. Same thing under the construction vehicle side, all your major brands covered at those Copco, Doosan, John Deere, Hitachi, Caterpillar, Liebherr, um, even on down here to Volvo, Takahuchi, Tiger Cat. And then in our forklift and telehandler category, same thing, Bobcat, Case, Caterpillar, John Deere, Kubota, JCV, all the way down to Yale here on the bottom. An industrial engine, you're going to use this side for things like pumps and generators and things. And you can see pretty well all of your major brands of engine are covered there. If we go back and we go to agricultural, first thing before we choose one, you can see on the left you do actually have an option for ISO bus, so you can now communicate with those implements. We'll go down here, we'll do a demo on a John Deere. From there it's just broken down by your series. Okay, so all the way down here from your tractors to your harvesters, your combines, We'll choose something popular. Um, we'll do a 7R series. You've always got a system scan up here to tell you exactly what's on the tractor. And then down below, you see all of the different modules. So you're not just limited to the engine. You can get in and look at a little bit of everything. So we'll start with a uh, diesel injection. They give you this nice film strip here. A little video of where to actually connect into the tractor. So there's really no question there of how do I get connected for the technician, which we all know on the off-highway side is a little bit of a challenge trying to find that data link. From there, it's just going to ask you for ignition on, and it brings you directly to your faults. And we'll click one real quick, so you can see. Double click that, you're going to get your SPN, your FMI, and you can just come back to your desktop launcher through that icon and look it up on DTC Solutions. And we'll have another video there kind of going over in depth on DTC solutions and how that works and what all kind of information it gives you. That's just a quick reference for kind of how it looks there. We'll close this out. Hit our confirm button again. Live data. So on this side, it's just going to be any of your live data. You see here 186. So all kind of parameters you can view here. It's also going to give you an all-time high and low in your red and green right below that value so you know what it's been since you've been connected. And you can, of course, double-click any of these and graph them out. You get this nice dashboard view so you can actually see how the system works and the live data associated with it. And this one, you see you have three here. So all your different systems, lastly, with your after-treatment there. All right. ECU Info tab. It's just going to be read-only information, but it will tell you what it is you're connected to, and levels of ECM and things like that. Activations, this is where you really get into the good stuff and all of your tests. So you see here all of your death tests, uh, misfire tests, and then your settings tab for any regen things. So if you got to come in here, you've got to clear a clear D-rate, you need to force a regen, all that's done through that settings tab, and it does a really good job covering it. We'll look at another system on here unrelated to the engine. So this is where, really where they've expanded so much over the last year. We'll just look at the lift. So we'll hit our start button again, firm in there, get ourselves connected. Again, everything's laid out the same way, so it doesn't matter what you're connected to, whether it's a Volvo, a John Deere, a Kubota, all the tabs are gonna be set up the exact same way. With your live data here on the left, and then your activations and settings tab, really housing your bi-directional functionality. You can see here all kinds of changes you can make, and you've even got the calibration. We'll show you what that looks like. We confirm here. 
It's going to give you some prerequisites. So you always know what to do before you run a command. And then you actually get a nice pictorial view as you walk through the different steps here, calibrating that lift. Once we're finished, you get this message here, letting you know what to do afterwards. We'll close this out. We're just going to go through some of the other functionality here. This one here is a Kubota, so you can see in the activations tab all your different tests over here in your settings tab as well. Same thing, you're going to have the ability to reset the soot load, force regens, code injectors. And we'll show you what the regen looks like. So again, you get those prerequisites and you get another pictorial view of how that system works. And then as soon as the regen starts, you'll actually see that DPF and DOC highlight in red there. Cancel out. And let's actually close this and let's look at some other functionality here. So if we're on a Bell um, articulating truck here, again, you've got more systems than just the engine. But you can see a lot of the activations here for your tests and then your settings in here. Lots of different things you can do. It really doesn't matter what you're connected to with this tool. You're going to have that bi-directional functionality there. Same thing here you see on the AdBlue system. All your different component replacements. Close this out. Next, we'll look at a cat loader. Let's look at the hydraulic side on there. So in your activations, you see all of your different tests. Settings tab again, all these calibrations you can run, and just different settings in here you can change related to that hydraulic system. We'll go back up and we'll actually run one of these calibrations so you can see what this looks like. It's going to be very similar to that John Deere we were just looking at, so you're going to get that pictorial view. Software just does a great job walking you through how to run any of your calibrations or resets or any sort of bi-directional functionality you need to do there. We'll clear out of this and we'll close this out. We'll look at some other things real quick. So next up, JCB Telehandler. Again, you've got all your different systems here. We're going to look at the hydraulic side. We'll do the boom angle calibration. So again, it's going to walk you through it. Lastly, look at a Yanmar engine. See in your activations all the different tests. Very similar to your OEM software. And then all the way down to component replacements, your different regions, and even injector coding. And even the injector coding, you're going to get this nice pictorial view and you'll enter in that cylinder's number, hit your confirm button, simple as that. So this tool does a really great job of covering a little bit of everything on the off-highway side, which is something that's a big struggle for people as you do not have that ability to buy most OEM softwares there. Well, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, reach out to us at 888-983-1975. Thank you.